In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated pinwheel with four options slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, uh, the first pinwheel, I've just put the option A. I've added the icons and detail text and then I've added some shadow effect also here. Then this is for the option B, the C and D. And to make it stand, I have added one pipe here at the back and then at the bottom, I have added some landscape design likewise what happens is when i click it will start animating you can see it started slowly moving or rotating so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease i have made few more slides with some different background let me just show you when i click you can see here i've added some gray background here and again this also start rotating and then i've added one more where it is a more bigger pinwheel so depending on your requirement you can just choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you'd like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010 some features might not be available so highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select a diamond shape, draw a diamond shape by holding the shift key, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I can give any color for the time being. Later on, I'm going to change and then align center, align middle. You can see here, then I'm going to add four right triangles. So for that, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to select this right triangle, draw the right triangle, this much size, or you can increase or decrease. And later on, I'm going to show you how much size you need to keep it. Shape outline, make it no outline. And then I need to just rotate, flip horizontal. And then I'm just going to make it rotate left 90 degrees and put it here increase the width you can see here and you need to make sure the height should be matching with the the diamond shape something like this again make sure that it is properly aligned let me just give some different color here so you can see here it has to be aligned properly all right so let me just show you because the color is not clearly visible i'm just going to give some different color yeah so you can see here i have to make sure that it has to touch at the bottom here okay so this is my first one and again make sure that okay this is properly touching the the diamond shape at the top then i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate now it has to go something like this or i can just make it rotate with the help of this also and then i'm just going to place it here all right and then press ctrl d and this one i have to just rotate it something like this okay make sure it is straight yeah and then this is my this one and then press ctrl d to duplicate and this has to rotate this way or with the help of this rotate also you can rotate so whichever way you feel better you need to rotate it and make sure that it is properly aligned in the center. You can see it's all aligned, I believe. This is much better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all, or you can just press Ctrl A to select all, okay? And then go to format, more shape. I'm going to make it fragment, all right? So it becomes something like this. Now, what I need to do, you can see here, this shape is different. This one is different. All different shapes are there okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select this and this and i'm going to make it as a union one shape okay this and this okay or if i for example to make it more clear let me just give some different color combinations here for this all right you can see here because it is not clearly visible so you cannot identify what is right or which one to select all right so let me just select it for you 
let me just give some different color combination I'm just going to give maybe a green all right now you know that okay now this part and this part I'm going to group it or merge it union it this one and this one make it union and this and this make it union so we end up getting a shape something like this now I'm going to just change the background or if you want you can just select all press ctrl G to group it now if you, depending on the requirement you can hold the shift key and increase the size so here you can see something like this all right then let me just go to format shape and I'm going to change the background color any good background color you can choose let me just select the gradient fill here the type I'm going to select uh, linear and then you can just choose any light uh, the sky color combination for example I can just choose any color some light color and some dark color here all right so depending on the requirement and then it should be something lighter at the bottom and here but here this is not clearly visible let me just ungroup this I'm going to select this one two three four by holding the shift key and format you can make it uh, white so you can see here it's more clearly visible now even for this also you can give some gradient fill uh, so let me just go and insert one small pin in the center go to shapes uh, select the oval shape draw the oval shape again holding the shift key maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any dark color and if you want you can give some 3d format to this so i'm just going to select this one all right and if you want it more sharper you can just reduce it you can just increase it sorry something like this and then i'm just going to give some uh, shadow here so you can see here a pin has been created and then if you want to give some shadow effects here for that what you can do is you can go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill fill it with black increase the transparency level then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then just send this to back you can see here something like this so you have got the the folded effect here so i'm just going to select this one duplicate ctrl d rotate it again put it here again send this to back see something like this now i'm going to duplicate this one bring the other side let me just remove the guides it is quite disturbing so now i'm just going to put it here again format send back all right and then the last one i can just duplicate this control d and then just put it here and then this also send to back all right so you can see here we have added the shadow effect also now let's add one uh, pipe to hold this one so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here make sure it is center aligned shape outline no outline and you can select some gradient fill here i'm going to choose uh, maybe this one and then i'm just going to give some different color combination some lighter one add i'm going to add some dark here in the center again this is more darker here and again here it is somewhat lighter all right and then just send this to back so you can see here we have added this also or if you want to just change the shape of this one if you want to rotate what you can do is you can just select all without the pipe press ctrl g to group it and then using this one you can just rotate it something like this all right but make sure that the size is uh, not big enough you can see here the size is uh, quite big so the edges are going out of the screen so again let me just hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit so that it perfectly yeah i think this is perfectly okay now once this is done uh, what we need to do is to add the the text and some uh, icons for this 
so go to insert I'm going to add a text box and just going to type a here or if you want you can make it one two three four also center align make it bold choose the white color and then I'm just going to put it here maybe I need to just increase the size you can see something like this align it properly press ctrl D to duplicate I'm just going to add this one here press ctrl D and this one will be here so this is a this is going to be B this is C and this is option D and then if you are using some latest version of PowerPoint you can just simply add the icons depending on the requirements so I'm just going to add some uh, random icons here okay and then just move it aside and the height and width I'm going to make it as 0.5 only and then I'm just going to put one icon here for this one icon here you can see here make sure that it is not crossing or it is overlapping or just going out of this adjust so it has to be something like this okay and then this one will go here let me just align it yeah and then you can just add some detailed text I'm just going to add this is your placeholder column I'm going to center align font I'm going to make it somewhat gray reduce the size and put it here again align it properly I think this is okay so depending on your requirement you can just increase or decrease the size again make sure that the text should not come out of the this one press ctrl D you can see here If it is too light what you can do is you can just select this one and just give some dark color also so I think this is much better now you can see here our design is ready I have added the text and if you want you can just add some uh, uh, landscapes at the bottom but that is not mandatory so now what we can do is you can just add some basic animation to it so first of all to add the animation I'm going to select all press ctrl a to select all but I have to exclude this one so I'm holding the shift key and removing this pipe from here and press ctrl G to group it so it has become one except this one this is not grouped okay then go to the animations enable the animation pane select this add animation I'm going to make it spin can you see here it's spinning but it's spinning very fast I'm going to make it very slow so go to the timings I'm going to select extreme slow and from here 20 seconds I can make it even 120 seconds also okay now if I play when I click you can see here it is slowly rotating very slowly you know you don't feel also so something like that so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the the speed